hi friends what's this button when i click this this changes this text okay fine this already we have discussed several times on click of a button we can trigger a change the text or trigger any event and uh, you can do lot of programming but here that's not the issue actually this is not a button you can see the vertical text and so it, it is a canvas actually and we have used it as a fun we are given the functionality of a button because we want to put a vertical text over it because in a button to write a vertical text there are two ways either one is write a image and create a keep a vertical character and place the image over the button but here again the issue is suppose dynamically you want to change the text and all this button size will again you may not able to change it because it's a image now the other way is here you are using a canvas this is not a button this is a canvas and we are given the event we have added events to it we will learn all about this here is our template we'll start from here you can see we have imported the tk fund the this uh, the tk fund module provides the fund class for creating and using named funds and and here you can see that we have used a, and this particular one named to fund return a fund representation of a tk named fund why we are using this is because we want what the user has entered what's the height and width of it because we are going it is not a button it's a canvas so it will that shape and size or height and width we have to adjust according to the fund issued uh, used by the user let's just start we'll say my str we'll start with the string what the user wants to uh, write it so we'll say plus to net this is what we are plus to net is our string this will write it over the button so um, fine now let's first find out what's the height and width of this particular label when it goes over the uh, our canvas not the button we are using a canvas so for that sorry we'll say font measure now we'll say here my str the string we are measuring what's the height of it and some little margin we are given now width width is nothing but the line space because it's a width when it is 90 degree we rotate it it is but just the line space only it is nothing to do with the string actually so width is font now matrix or a mat t sorry matrix font to your matrix and here we are taking line space line space now that's all and we'll add 10 pixel to this because slightly edges we want to see now this this only height and width because this also depends on what string the user wants to use so based on that this height and this height and width will transfer to our canvas so that is the main so dynamically whenever suppose through some other program if you change this particular string the same time our canvas height and width also change so let's just start a canvas though i will write c1 so this time for easy understandings uh, canvas we are writing sorry canvas equal to tk dot canvas now here my parent window is my underscore w now height this height is equal to height this is the canvas height this we are variable height at line number eight what you are declared similarly width equal to width so what you got it at line number nine the same width we are using now what background will give this background will take it to the system button face gives us the same background what the background of the window so that's why we will take that same one so this equal to we'll say system uh, button face so this same one we are taking because it's a in a window we are using it now will will it enough no we will just slightly add a border to this because border width button we are not giving because this border width is by default it is two because it's no it's not a button it's a canvas we are just giving it uh, using it as a button so relief what is relief we have already discussed all these wizards of kinter has a relief option whereas the borders are 
either it will be raised sunken normal or a simple black border these options are available so this we have seen it in several wizards so this option in, is available in the canvas also that we are saying and we are giving the value of raised because initially or by default this canvas should the looks like a button so its border should be raised so that's all will come to next line for placing it will will now will place it so but before that let's write the text here so what you will do is will canvas dot create text if you are we see a n i missed if you have seen our canvas tutorial you will see there how to write a text now what text will write it will write in the, it's a dimension what we are giving 4 by 4 then we are saying that angle this is the important this angle we are rotating it by 90 degree so we are saying it 90 i think i have to give quotes here so 90 we have rotated this is what we are not able to do it in a button that's why we are using now some other options where it should be aligned anchor is any north east that is and text what text it is equal to my str so this particular uh, text we are writing my str line number six we have declared it now we'll say fill now what is system button what it is system i will just this is the what button text we'll say sorry that's why it's not taking button text so i have written that and uh, let me put it within quotes now fine up to this is okay now okay but fonts i have not added so now because i have already font repair it has reprehension i got it so i will use font equal to font what this font variable is at line number five i have taken the same one i am using it here all this exercise is because to flush it to like or it looks like a windows button fine now let's place it on a we'll place it on a grid so where will will say that canvas let's just where is my yeah canvas dot grid i'm just placing you can use place or pack whatever you want to use you can use it row equal to zero column equal to say first one or we'll put it zero now pad x equal to 20 pad x from the left edge that much i am space i am giving i don't wa don't want to flush it with left edge or top edge sorry it's pad y pad y is also 20 so that's all now i should get a look of a button now let's just save this and run once let's see if any error is there uh, major it's a m e a s u r e okay that was a mistake now let's just uh raised okay sorry Richard, it is raised it takes the values of groove raise flat read solid or sunken so uh, we have to use raised here now let me just run this yeah here it is okay our button is there now i cannot click it if i am clicking it nothing will happen because it's really it's not a button so it's a canvas only but the text is vertical because i have put it in 90 so now let me just make it 180 let's see what happens if i'll make it 180 I have to close this and open again closed saved and running again where is my okay it is the alignment it has missed so that I have to again alignment okay our purpose is vertical you can experiment with that one so let me just bring it back to 90 so I am here now I will add the events I will write here canvas my then binding it's binding to the event so I am using button press this button press is your mouse left button one so okay let me close this now what happens when this one so i am just adding the e event here now what should happen is this particular one x now x dot wizard let me configure so what I once a mouse left button is pressed, I want to configure it so the relief will be sunken. Here you see the relief is raised, which it is the initial by default. This is now that uh, configure I am uh, configuring the relief property. So I am saying that relief equal to 
S U N K E N sunken. So what happens? This when I press it, it remains. It get pressed. The the relief change. Just to, if you want to see it, what the effect is. But it will remain at it as it is. What you want is it should change its. Uh, yeah, here you can see. If I click sunken, but it has to come back. So it, it will write the release one now. So let's just for writing it. Let's just copy this. Paste it here. Okay, canvas bind button button. It is not press. It is release. So now the mouse button is released. So here we just configure. Now the relief is raised. But one thing we will not use both the uh, both the events. This event will change its title. Now let's see what what now it it should uh, look like. It's the uh, look like of a button. See. When I am releasing, it's coming up. So the the both the events I am triggering sunken and raised. Both I am triggering here. When I am pressing the mouse button or when I am clicking, it should do some work for us. It is not a button. Is some some event should happen. Yes, sorry, it should do some work. So that will code now. So for that purpose, I will just comment this line. I will not. I leave it. Sorry, I am not in PHP. I will comment this line. I will leave this. Uh, for that to explore but now i will add some uh, function to execute i will just copy this line paste it here but this time i will use to up to this point x here i will say my task some task will give it will not only this sunken but this sunken again is required that we have to do it we'll do it in a different way so my opening one more okay fine so this function i have to write it here so what i will do here i will write define my task so what job i want to give it to my button is my sorry define my task now here i am so he inside this first let me write the sunken because now he inside this let it happen configure now i'll say relief same thing relief equal to sunken uh, okay k e n fine now the same thing will it will do but along with this some other job also it will do so for that let me what will you can give a print command you can do anything but for that let's just write a create a label here i am giving l1 is just normal l1 so okay so l1 is my label so i am saying tk dot label now my parent window is my w so inside that i'll writing a text variable because some text i want to change it so further you can l1 str so this i had to declare it so let's give some bigger size font font equal to uh times now then 24 and it's normal you can use bold italic anything whatever you want now let me just place it okay i have to give the string variable <coughs> i have to declare so place it on the grid now so what i will be doing is row equal to 0 just the right of it so column equal to 1 and slightly pad x equal to 20 and pad sorry 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 i missed it pad y so not flushing with the top edge so pad y is 20 now l1 now what i will i'll just string variable so l1 str i'll give some value also it's a string var now i am saying value let's say welcome okay now what happens when the button is clicked let me just give some space so you can see this clearly fine i can go up a bit here okay so canvas now my label is there i have connected it to a string variable this string variable once it is clicked i want to give some message i will change the text that's my, what's my purpose l1 str this is a string variable so i have to use set method to change its value and what i will write hi and welcome to plus to net fine so this is what should display once the button is click you want something else to <clears throat> happen you can go on extending this event also 
some other element it should now just the purpose here is with normal element i can interact with that a normal element is a label let's just see how this works i am click this here it is my once i am clicking this hi and welcome to plus 2 net so this is working like a button though it's a canvas it does all the functionality of the button and triggering the label to this way so you can based on your requirement you can change the whatever text you want to display or take something else anything you can do it that's all friends this was a question asked so thought better to clear it and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new videos we frequently do that and post your doubts suggestions questions here below so accordingly we'll improve our script also like this this question have also come from a uh, visitor so thank you for watching and please share and subscribe this tutorial